Hi, this is John Guidry, and um, this is a 128K um, prototype cartridge, kind of hacked out of the 64K cartridge here. When this cartridge was built, the 74LS379 bank switching chip on it actually had one more set of input outputs. It had, a, it had the inverted Q3 and the D3, which weren't being used. And uh, so uh, what we've done here is we've taken the 28-pin IC socket out and we've put a 32-pin IC socket in. And you'll see there's a piece of uh, Kapton tape underneath the socket now. And um, you'll see the plus 5 volts um, on pin number 32 in the bottom right-hand corner there going to plus 5 volts on that JP1. And you'll see that the two, um, the A16 data line on the EEPROM is, and the... Um, the uh, address line for the TI are hooked up to the last uh, two pins of that 74LS379. So that actually gives us up to 128K on this one cartridge. And uh, Tercy has been uh, helping me out by working out on a multi-cart menu type of program. And let's uh, go ahead and demo this program. There's one little bug, so I don't know how well this will work, but this cartridge actually has 15 8K programs on it. And... Um, 15 8K programs, and you can kind of, you can't really kind of make this out, but um, I don't know why it's green, but <laughs> uh, typo uh, would be A, Rotorators B, you know, Romox Demo C, Princess and Frog D, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, etc, cetera. and I believe he said that you could put up to 20 something entries on here, and uh, what this does is actually goes in and it scans every single bank on the EEPROM up to the whole, you know, you'll have up to 15 programs on here, but if we ever do something a little bit different and we expand the capability of this, there could potentially be more. But um, I couldn't see why you couldn't take this and um, put a 27CO40 for 512K and put a couple BCD switches on there, one BCD switch, and, uh, and put up to, you know, 60 programs on here instead of 15. Uh, but what Tercy's program does is it actually takes the 74LS379 bank switching chip down here and it will trigger it uh, for whichever one of these um, banks that we want. For example, like say take A typo when you press A, there's typo too. Now, one little idiosyncrasy, if you reset the console, you notice typos there because the 74LS379 doesn't have a um, reset pin. Uh, you actually have to hard power off the console and then power it back on, and then you see multi-card again. Whoa, that was trippy. I guess it doesn't like going through the core comp. But again, like say for example, you want to play, oh, I don't know. You know, uh, the <laughs> Romox demo, which I don't think was ever really released anywhere. You can go ahead and play it right here. So. Anyway, that's that's all the um, that's all the uh, demonstration I have for you right now. Uh, we have a possibility of uh, a better menu type of system uh, coming into play for this. Um, kind of like snazz it up a little bit, make it look really cool. Uh, uh, somebody's working on that. Uh, sometimes uh, 99er or Karsten uh, is going to be taking a look at that. But for right now, um, this is an actual working prototype of a multi-cart and. Um, I'm hoping that I can uh, work with the group and we can figure out the best, cheapest, easiest way to put a reset switch on this, which is probably removing the power from the bank switch chip. And that way we have a full-fledged uh, real multi-cart for the TI, switched in software thanks to Tercy, you know, and his awesome programming. And, uh, and then we'll be able to say, hey, we have a TI multi-cart. So anyway, hey, thanks for watching this. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.